Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing the recipe of the mackerel fried fish curry. This is a spicy delicious curry that goes well with rice. Without further ado, let's get started. We have taken mackerel fish which is also called ailamine in Tamil. My amma makes it really good so I just asked her to share the recipe for us. Clean the fish neatly and mark gashes on both the sides of it. Add in salt as needed. Add in Kashmiri chilli powder for the color as well as regular chilli powder for the spiciness. In goes coriander powder, turmeric powder and fennel seed. Finally add in some curry leaf. Add a little water and mix it until everything combines well. Now cover it and marinate it for 15 minutes. Let's fry the fish now. Heat oil in a pan and shallow fry the fish. You can either use sunflower oil or coconut oil to fry the fish. I have used sunflower oil here. Fry the fish to 90%. Do not fry the fish completely. Just cook 5 minutes on each side of the fish. It took 10 minutes for us to fry the fish. We are making fish fry and spicy coconut milk curry and just combining both together. Our fish fry is ready now. Let's keep it aside and make the spicy coconut milk curry. Here comes the ingredients to make the fish curry. We are making fried fish curry on this clay pot. Add in 1 tablespoon of coconut oil into it. When the oil is hot, add in mustard seed, fenugreek seed and curry leaf. In goes some ginger garlic paste. Sort it until the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste goes off. Now add in the chopped onion into it. We have used one large onion here. If you have smaller size onion you can use two. Once the onion is translucent add in the chopped tomato. In goes couple of green chillies. Sort the onion and the tomato nicely. Add in salt as needed. So keep in mind we have added salt for the fish as well. Cover it and cook the onion masala for 2-3 to three minutes. Once cooked, add in the turmeric powder, cashmere chilli powder and coriander powder. Sort it nicely until the raw smell of the masala powders goes off. It would take 2-3 to three minutes only. Once the masalas are cooked, add in the tamarind juice. Well, the quantity of the tamarind juice depends upon the tanginess of the tamarind we take. Let the tamarind juice as well as the masalas incorporate well. Now add in 1 cup of coconut milk. Well this coconut milk is not the first or the second coconut milk. This is neither too thick nor thin. Cover it and let it simmer for 5 minutes. Once the curry is boiling, add in the fried fish into it. Cook 
Cook it for 5 to 6 minutes after adding the fried fish. Do not waste any of the fried fish masala. Add it to our fish curry and it gives that extra flavor to it. We should be so gentle while mixing the curry. Make sure not to break the fish. Let the fried fish simmer into the fish curry. Cover it with the lid and cook well. We made an easy rasam which goes well with the fried fish curry. It would take just 5 minutes to make this rasam and I'll share the recipe later. We are preparing brown rice which is really a best compo for the fried fish curry. Our fish curry is boiling and finally add in some coriander leaf. Give it a stir and our mackerel fried fish curry is ready to be served now. Look at the hot red spicy mackerel fried fish curry friends. This is one of my favorite fish curries which my amma makes it. I hope you like this video and do subscribe my channel for more interesting recipes. I'll see you next video. Until then, tada!